I'm Mo of Easy BD and today we are going to be making this bracelet. I've decided to call it Noughts and Crosses because it looks like we've got knots here and kind of crosses here. I do apologise if anybody else has already named any type of jewellery the same name. Okay, This one is done in um, like lilac and purple. This one is done in red and gold and pink and this is the colour we'll be making today. It's um, blues and kind of a purple. Okay. We're making this size. Okay, this one is to fit me. So obviously you would adjust it to suit yourself, whatever size you needed. For this bracelet you need, for the size we were doing today, you need 17 white Super Duos, 34 3mm bicones, these are Shirovsky Capri Blue, 32 6-aught seed beads, the ones I'm using are Silver Lined Dyed Dark Violet, by Mayuki. 11 Ot Duracoat Gold by Mayuki. And 15 Ot, I've used dark purple seed beads by Mayuki. Just follow them to one side. You need two needles because we're using a crossover method. Threaded onto two and a half arm span of thread. I have used Fireline 0 0.006 it's Wildfire by Beadalon. A pair of scissors to cut your thread. And I always try and keep some pliers handy in case it's hard to get your needle through any of the beads. Right, to begin with, thread your needles, one on each end. Make sure the um, thread is even. Pick up one Super Duo and let that fall. Then we're going to pick up so I'm getting a bit of a tangle. Then we're going to pick up on each thread, on each needle, sorry, an 11 gold, 3mm bicone, 11 gold. Okay, put your needles together and take that down to the middle. Okay, you do need to know which way your threads are. I usually try and so which end your needles are at because we do have a lot of crossing over put, picking up and putting down of needles so I just pop them in there with the corresponding sides it can be a bit fiddly at times so you pick up your your work we're on the right side to so pick up your right needle and put it into the top hole of the super duo that way Pull it down, okay, and then we have that. Pick up, put that back in there. Pick up your other needle, okay. And this time we're going to go back into the same hole from the other side that way. But we're also going to try and go through the 11 knot at the same time. It doesn't matter if you can't do it at the same time, it just makes it that little bit quicker. So we'll come through there okay and pull that at this point if it isn't central it is easy enough to readjust it put you just put your needles together again work your way down and move it into the middle it can be a little bit fiddly okay just make sure it's in the middle it doesn't have to be exact because we do have plenty of thread to work with okay that is slightly out but I can forgive that 
Okay, so we've gone through this 11 on this side, so now we need to go through this 11 with your other thread. Separate your threads off, make sure you've got the right one. Like I said, this can be a bit fiddly, a bit tangly with your threads. Okay, so I'll separate them off and it's this side that I need to do. Okay. So go through your other 11. So what we've done, we've crossed over in the Super Duo and gone through the 11 knot. Okay, can you see that? Right. Okay, sort your threads out again. Now we need to pick up on each thread one gold, one six art, two gold. So the other needle, one eleven, one six art, two eleven. Okay. <clears throat> and then on one of the needles, pick up a super duo. Doesn't matter which needle, but we need to cross through the hole with these threads. And then all the way down to the bottom. So that's what we've got. Now we need to cross over in these 11s again. You must remember to do this because if at the end, when you haven't done it, you have to undo it all and start again, which is most annoying. Trust me, I've done it. So we've crossed over the Super Duo and gone through the 11 art that we picked up on each side. So now we're back to crossing over on the, I'm sorry, embellishing the um, Super Duo that's there. Sort out your threads again on each needle. So we already have the 11 art there. So we just need to pick up on each needle a three millimeter crystal and an eleven knot. Okay, I find it easier to pull that down and then stick your needle in, get it out of the way. Pull that one down and then just go through your top hole with one. that needle down, pick the other one up and go through the top hole and the 11. That saved us a bit of a job. But we do need to go back through this 11 with the other thread again. Pick up your other needle and go through that 11. And pull it tight. This is what we have so far. So again, basically this is what we're repeating this pattern until we have used up all the super duos. So again, now we need, so we've just done the bicone, so we need to do the six art again now. So we already have one 11 art there, so we'll pick up on each thread, one 11 art, one six art, two 11s. So that's one 11, one six, two 11s. So that's on each needle. Pick up a super duo with one needle and cross through the hole. So 
set them all the way down. And now we need to come out of the 11 knot that we added. Don't want to go. There we are. So again, this is what we have. So we need to now add the bike up because we're embellishing the super duo. So we need one bicorn, one eleven on each thread. One bicorn, one eleven. Oops. And cross over in the top hole of the super duo. And if you can. You might as well go through that 11 to see if you're going back. Okay, now with the other needle to go into that 11. And like I say, please try not to forget that because it, it makes it stand out that little bit better. Okay, so we need to keep doing this right until we get to the very end. I'll just do another couple. Okay. So we already have one eleven, so we need one eleven, one six, two eleven on each thread. So that's one eleven, one six, two eleven. Pick up a super duo and cross in the hole. Take them down. Go through the 11. And pull tight. Okay, so we've now gone through the 11 on each side. Pick up one bike, three mil bike on one 11 gold on each thread and cross through the top hole. Go through the eleven. Back through the eleven on this side. So now we need one eleven, one six, two eleven on each thread. So that's one eleven, one six, two eleven, and four. Pick up a super duo and cross your threads in the super duo. Pull them down. And then we need to go through the 11 with your thread that's coming out of each side of the super duo. Okay. 
papers, so we're coming out with the 11s now. So it's one 3mm, one 11, one 3mm by count and one 11. Go into the top hole. Your super duo. And if you can, the 11. Saves a little bit of time. Make sure you know which side is which with your needles and thread. Go through the other 11. Okay. This is what we have so far. I'll keep going until you get to the very end, until you've used up all your super duos, or until you get to the desired length that you need. I'll come back to you when I've done that. Okay, so I'm just adding the last two by combs. Not forgetting to cross over in the 11 alt as well as the soup duo. And this is what we have so far. At this point it's a good idea to check that you've gone through each of the 11 alts. You should be able to tell because it won't sit properly. Um, it's easier to check now 
and to undo it from here than it is once you've start added your clasp and starting your setting a lot of embellishment. I have got a toggle clasp for this one. I thought it looked rather pretty. So what we need to do now, we need to add a loop. These have already got jump rings on them, so I don't need to add a jump ring. So I'm just going to be putting the beads straight through. So I'm going to pick up six 11 knots, three, I'm coming out of this side, so I'm going to go around and go through. Oh, nearly forgot to pick up my toggle. I'm going to go round, so I'm coming out this side. I'm going to go round and go back through, making a loop. So I've gone through the 11, the Super Joe, and the 11. I've got my six. 11 knots there and I've picked up my toggle as well. Let's pull that up. It's a good idea to try and keep things tight at this point. And with the other side you need to go through all again. So I'm going to go through the six 11 knots that I've just picked up. Don't forget to go through the toggle. And then through the 11 that's attached to the Super Duo and back through the other side. Pull these tight. It might be a good idea to go around these. It doesn't matter if you go around with the same needle because you're just going around in a loop. So if you want, go around another twice, another two times if we speak properly, proper English. Being 11 knots, they will let you go through two or three times quite easily. It doesn't matter which thread you use because you're always going to come out on the same side. Just make sure it's tight and I will go through one more time. Just to reinforce it. a bit tight there so I think that will be the last time. So you don't want to break your super duo at this point. So there we go. So I've gone down around that a total of four times. So I think that's about the limit for your super duo. Okay so we've got each thread on each side. So with the bottom thread here, which is my bottom, I don't know which way it's to you, go through three bico on each side. Now we're going to start using the 15 knots to embellish. Okay, so you're coming out with your bico to pick up the 15 knot, go through the 11 that is right next to the 6 knot there, and if you can, go through the 11 on the other side. So you're going through three beads all together. Pull that, and that 11 knot pops in just nicely. So we're coming out the 11 just before the bico. Pick up another 11 just through the bicone this time. Pick up an 11. Sorry, pick up a 15 through the 11, through the 6, and if you can, through the 11. 
So you've gone through the 11, the 6 and the 11 and you're coming out just before the bicone. Pick up a 15 through the bicone. Pick up a 15 through the 11, the 6 and if you can the 11 at the other side. And continue this through six or seven bicones and then do the other side. Just want to keep it fairly even. Basically, each side of the bicone we're adding a 15. Sometimes you can't always go through these three in one go. Okay, so I've done several down there, so I'm going to pop that needle down and go to the other side. Swap it over. Because I like to work with this side. So we're coming out of the bicone there. Pick up 15. Through the 11. Through the 6 and through the 11. Fifteen through the three millimeter bicone. Fifteen through the eleven, the six, and the eleven if you can. I didn't manage to go through the six there. I've managed to just go through the six, so I'll just go through the eleven separately. Can be a bit fiddly if you if you're a tight beader. I've added a 11 or 2 mini there next to my bike home. So I'm going to try and show you how I try and remove a bead. doesn't always work. You may cut your end, you uh, snap your thread. In which case we'll just have to start again. So I put my needle in between, in, in the bead that I want to take out. Um, I've got the needle on the far side of the thread, the thread is at this side, the needle's at this side. I try and hold it. I get some pliers and basically against the needle squeeze the bead and it snaps and it's gone. Okay, 
that has saved me undoing it all and taking it all out but again there is risk that you can cut your thread doing that trust me I've done it and then we just have to start again but such is beading so now I can continue adding my 15s doesn't worry it matter too much about this um, where this bead was being a bit slack because popping these 11s tightens it up ever so slightly so it's not um, such a big deal just goes to show mistakes are very easy to make so again on each side of each bicone we are adding a 15 knot up a 15 going through the bicon come through the bicon pick up a 15 through the 11 through the 6 and the 11 15 I'm just going to add one more and then I'm going to swap sides again to try and keep it even, stop it distorting. So I'm going to turn it over, pick up my other needle, continue down this side. So through the biker, 15, through the 11, 6, 11. I've now gone past this side but as we're near the end I'll just keep going right to the very end. And then we'll finish off the other side and I'll show you how to add the other clasp. So we're on the last bicone now, so we just need one 15 at one side. We don't put one at the other side. And I'll finish off this side now to the very end.
looking at the last bicone again just one at one side so now we're at the end there we have strain it out if there's any kinks you can pull it tight if you wish if you pull it tight it just makes it a little bit shorter or you can it's ever so slightly stiffer or you can have it looser it's up to yourself however you want to wear it I'll pull this one tight right so we've got to the end and we're coming out of a three millimeter biker and we're going to add the second class coming out of this side we're going to go through the 11 the super duo and the 11 this side can be a bit tight this is where your pliers may come in handy but I've got through there I'm going to cross over with the other one so we're going through the 11 super duo and hopefully the 11 oh, I have to go through the 11 separately and the 11 Pick up six elevens the other part of your clasp and we're on this side so we're going through round that way and back through the eleven the super duo and the eleven again gone through the 11 so fairly tight not too tight or else you're going to distort all this once you've gone round a couple of times then you can pull it tight because it won't affect the rest of the bracelet so we're going to go around with the other one now Round again. And through the eleven super duo and the eleven. That's feeling rather tight, so I think that might be the best I can do with that one. Don't want to break my super duo at this point. So now you can pull them tight so now what we want to do is fasten off your threads so we're going to go through the 3 mil, the 15 the 11 and the 15 and we're coming out just before that bicone and I'm going to add a knot in there And then you're going to pull that into your three millimeter. So I'm going through the three millimeter, through the 15, 11, 6, 11, and 15. Coming out just before the bicone again because I'm going to pop another knot in. You pull that, your knot will pop into your three millimeter and it disappears. Magic. This is another way I put a knot in. Sometimes I find it easier. So there we go. Just keep knotting as much as you're happy with. I'll just put one more in. sure the knot goes down in between the two beads you need it to go in just 
just move your thread away from your knot before you trim your thread. And then do the other side. Go through three, the 15, 11, 6, 11 and 15. Come out just before the bicone to do your knot. I do the knots before the bicone because it's a lot easier than trying to get in between these 11 and the 6. It's just rather tight in there. Just so that you know, where your 15 is, you have a little triangle of thread. When you're putting your needle in to do your knot, make sure you go in, inside that little triangle. Otherwise you're going to distort your beads. There we go. Just do one more. Move the thread away. Before trimming it off. Trim your thread and you're done. Now we have a lovely bracelet. All done.